Good morning, Wooten. You've probably heard the name Joseph Coney in the last few days, but who is he, and why is there so much commotion around his name? Well, if you'll remember back to our SGA Spring Project last year, Bobby Bailey, a co-founder USA and creative director of the Global Pro Poverty Project, came to speak to us. In 2003, Bobby and his two friends, Jason Russell and Laren Poole, traveled to Africa in search of untold stories, and what they found inspired a movement called Invisible Children. On Tuesday, March 5th, the controversial nonprofit lost, launched a viral campaign surrounding Joseph Coney. The film entitled Coney 2012 has garnered more than 14 million hits on Vimeo and almost 50 million hits on YouTube. Ellen P. Diddy, Ryan Seacrest, Rihanna, and Katie Couric are just a few celebrities that tweeted the link to the 30-minute video. Coney is the world's worst war criminal, wanted by the International Criminal Court on charges of war crimes, kidnapping, crimes against humanity, murder, enslavement, and much more. In 1987, he took over the leadership of an existing rebel group and renamed it the Lord's Resistance Army, the LRA. When Coney found himself running out of fighters, he started abducting children to be soldiers in his army. Not just a handful, but 30,000 child soldiers just in Uganda alone, and 66,000 across Africa. Around 2.1 million people have been displaced in Uganda, and 440,000 people displaced in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and South Sudan. This campaign, according to Invisible Children website, aims to make Joseph Kony famous, not to celebrate him, but to raise support for his arrest and set a precedent for international justice. If people know that the crimes that Kony has been committing for 26 years, they will unite to stop him. And after much lobbying on behalf of this humanitarian mission, Barack Obama deployed U.S. military advisors in Central Africa on a time-limited mission to stop Kony and disarm the LRA. If Kony isn't captured this year, the window will be gone. The LRA left northern Uganda in 2006, but is currently active in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and South Sudan. Stay tuned for more information in the future.